With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question, the two unbiased coin are tossed simultaneously. Find the probability of getting two head, one head, one tail, at least one head and at most one head and no head okay so let's say if if we toss the two unbiased unbiased coin then our sample sample space then our sample space is head 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 tail tail head or tail tail so sample space represents the all the possible results of the event okay so if we toss the two coins two unbiased coin then our sample space is head 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 tail tail head and tail tail okay now the probability probability is equals to the is equals to the number of number of favorable number of favorable outcome divided by divided by total number of outcome divided by total number of outcome that is total total number of outcome okay now for the case one our probability is equals to you have to find the probability of two head so only one case in which the two head is coming up so one by four is the probability total number of outcome is four that is one two three and four so the probability is one by four now for the case one head so the probability of one head is in this case also we have one head and in this case also we have one head so the probability is equals to number of favorable outcome is 2 and the total number of outcome is 4 so this 2 and this 4 divides and we get probability that is equals to 1 by 2 now take the third case in the third case we have to find out the probability in the third case we have to find out the probability of one tail so again in this case we have one head one tail one tail so the probability is equals to favorable outcome is 2 and total number outcome is 4 that is equals to 1 by 2 now we have to find out the probability for the fourth case that is at least one head so in this case we have one head in this case we have also one head and in this case so we have we have three possible condition in which we have at least one head at least one head means one or more than one head is possible okay so the favorable outcome for the fourth case is equals to three and total number outcome is four okay now the probability for the fifth case the probability for the fifth case is at most one head it means at most one head means maximum we have one head is possible so for this case for this case and for this case in these three cases we have at most one head at most one head means one or less than one head is possible so the probability is equal to number of favorable outcome is three and the total number of outcome is four okay now the case six now in the case six you have to find out the probability of no head okay so the probability so the probability of no head is equals to only tail and tail case possible when prob when we have no head okay so the possible number of favorable outcome is 1 and total number outcome is 4 so in this way we calculate the probability for the each of the given condition thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today